Hi everyone, welcome back to our phase 365 concepts. This is the fifth video of this entire series where we are talking about SharePoint Online. In the last video, we talked about a team site layout and its structure. In this particular video, we will create a communication site in SharePoint Online. I will walk you through the communication site. We will explore the features and layout of a communication site so that you have a basic understanding of the communication site and its functionality. To create a communication site in SharePoint Online, either you can click Create Site option on the SharePoint page, or you can go to the left menu bar and click Create, and then click Site. When you click Create Site, the wizard will ask you whether you want to create a team site or a communication site. In one of the previous videos, we learned how to create a team site. And we have also discussed the difference between a team site and a communication site. You can find the link for these videos within the description box. So this time we are going to create a communication site. So let's click communication site. Under select a template, you will find the pre-built site templates. Those are provided by Microsoft. You can choose one of these templates to create a communication site. I will go through the standard template, so I'll select standard communication and click use template. Under site name, you need to mention the name for your communication site. For example, news updates. Under site description, you can add a description for this site. For example, this site is to broadcast information. And under site address, you can see the complete URL for this particular site. Office 365 Concepts is the name of my Microsoft 365 tenant. And SharePoint.com indicates that this is a SharePoint site. Every team site or communication site is created under sites folder. And news updates is the name of this communication site that we are just going to create. So let's click next and we are good with the language if you want you can change the language from here and click create site so our communication site is ready now if you have noticed when we created a team site in one of the previous videos we were asked to choose if you want to create a private site or a public site we were asked to add members and owners for the team site also we got an email address for the Microsoft 365 group that was associated with the team site. But when we created the communication site, we didn't get these options. And the reason is a team site is used for the collaboration. A team site has a group that lets people to collaborate on emails and calendars. We can check the conversations of a team site group, but a communication site is used for information broadcasting. This is basically used to distribute information, news or updates to a wide range of audience. That is the reason a communication site doesn't has a group associated and there is no privacy settings for a communication site. But a communication site has permissions. With the help of these permissions, you can make few users as site editors or authors. Those can modify the site content and rest of the users will be site visitors who will have a read only permission on the site so that they can consume the information available on that particular site so that is all for now if you have learned something new from this particular video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and if you have questions or suggestions feel free to write them in the comments below thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video